Welcome, 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 welcome. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is going to be your love reading for mid-October. Happy Halloween to one and all. Ooh, I see that some of y'all want to heal something here. Let me see. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents here. There's some sort of old pain that y'all need to be letting go when it comes to your mother and your father. You uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out there. If this ain't that, this could be literally having to deal with a family crisis that you done went through in the past. Um, whatever could have happened in with within that family dynamics, there needs to be healing. All right, there needs to be a healing. That's the spirit of saying heart to heart conversation reverse. Okay. But I feel like you're holding back from that. There needs to be a conversation had with someone from your past that you got kids with that you're refusing on purpose to talk to. That you need to heal the situation. If you don't, spirit is going to rain down on you. Express your love. Yeah, I see you holding back here. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture here. You feel like if you make this romantic gesture to someone from your past, this will heal something for you with that person that got kids. We have new love reverse. Yeah, so this is old love here. All right, air signs. This is either you doing this or someone wants to come back in. And they're going to start off with saying, I'm sorry, such and such happened. Blah, 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 blah. They may not even start off like that, but I'm saying... This conversation that someone is refusing to have because they know if they have this conversation, it's going to spark up old feelings, right? Someone doesn't trust their intuition. This situation is calling for you, for you to have faith. Trust is in the reverse. Someone doesn't trust someone here. Someone doesn't trust someone from their past or they don't trust themselves because they know if they do communicate with their past in order to try to heal the situation that literally they're going to tell this person how they truly feel and how this person truly feel is that they love they they're still in love with this person they still love this person and they they don't want that to happen so they're refusing to communicate so i feel like someone's trying to distance themselves energetically and physically because they're afraid of love they're afraid of falling in love with someone here and someone, I feel like someone already has kids here. You have kids with this person already. All right. Yeah. Past life relationship reverse. You've known each other before. Someone feels like they don't truly know someone. What else? Someone feels like they don't truly know someone. There is reconciliation here. So I do see you reconcile with someone from the past. But you're refusing to talk about it. Romantic feelings came out. So express your love, crowning romantic feelings. I feel like you may even want to have sex with your ex. Sex with the ex. <laughs> is what I see. Sex with the ex. You want to reconcile and have sex with the ex. Sexual healing. You want to heal a situation through sex. But you don't trust yourself when it comes to that. So you're holding yourself back. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It is safe for you to love reversed. Yeah, you don't trust yourself. You're not, you don't feel safe. You don't trust yourself. It's not the person. It's you. Religious factors reversed. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. I feel like it's not. I feel like you both are on the same page. You both are more spiritual than religious. Or you could be more religious than spiritual, but you both are on the same page. Um, you may even feel like the reason why you're not coming forth towards this person is because this person could be putting a spell on you, like a love spell. They're not. They're not. This is how you genuinely feel, and you know it. So don't go blaming them damn love spells. <laughs> it's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. You need to be more in control. Open your heart. 
It will help you attract more love. This is someone that you divorced. Someone's fine on someone. Aquarius energy is here. Or perhaps you're already in a connection here. And that's what's keeping you from moving towards your ex to apologize, possibly. Because you're dealing with a gold digger that you're with. Some of you air signs could currently be with a gold digger. I'm talking about the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, men. What else for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in love? Mid-October, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you could have divorced a low vibrational fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Won't let you go spying on you. Someone's younger than you. This could be a young fire sign. Yeah, this young fire sign is spying on you. This is someone that you never went out with. You never took this person out on a date. No, it's not the right time. So you're about to divorce a younger fire sign. This person keeps spying on you. Trying to find things out. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. This person's researching what you're doing. Like literally. So that you probably are married right now to a younger fire sign that you are looking to divorce. Because you may feel like this younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is keeping you from uh, reconciling with a past baby mama, baby daddy, whatever. They, they create a lot of challenges for you when it comes to you even trying to reach out to an ex of yours. This young fire sign, this younger, someone's in their 20s. This younger uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius throws fits all the time. And you thinking about divorcing this person, it's not the right time to divorce this person. You got a lot of challenges right now. You need to work on your inner healing as well. And this person is clean. They're not letting you go. They probably got water in their um, moon or rising here. This is a karmic you're definitely dealing with. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's very clingy. They have a pet dog. Or they could have a cat. It looks more like a dog. Let me get one more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, you're dealing with a younger fire sign in the 20s. That's a gold digger. 21, 19. Someone could be 18. They're going to never let you know that they're a gold digger with confessions reversed. They want your money. You're being used. <laughs> Yeah, this is a karmic connection you're in. It's not your soulmate. They're karmic -y. Especially with them being a gold digger. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're dealing with a younger fire sign that's a gold digger. That spies on your every move to make sure you're not giving money to nobody else. So if you have kids outside this connection, they're keeping you from giving money and supporting your children financially. Now, question yourself, is that a good move on your part? Knowing full well, the courts will take the money from you. Even if you're hiding out, the courts are going to find you. Okay? Again, it keeps coming out. Karmic connection. Karmic relationship. So, if you're with a gold digger right now, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's keeping you from paying for your children, you're about to be brought to fucking child support court. Runner. Runner in a cold, dependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. You dealing with someone that has a big ass ego. You could be dating a Leo. Ascending, transcending. You're gonna overcome these obstacles with whoever it is you're dealing with. You will divorce this person and have a new phase. I see you preparing to get back with someone. Gemini Libra Aquarius, 
in the love realm. What's going on in love, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? What's going on, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? 10, 10 on the clock, complete ending with this person. Yeah, abundance. This person is used to a certain lifestyle here. But you made a bad choice in choosing this person because they are nothing but a gold digger. Okay. I do see you keeping a positive mindset that things will work out to the best. And it will. You will divorce this individual, but not right now. Hand of cards came out reversed. Take a chance or risk. You're not risking something right now. Concerning this karmic relationship here. Stabbed in the back, reverse, heartbreak, pain, separation. Yeah, you don't want to separate. You don't want to take the risk and separate yet. Not yet, anyway. I feel like you're trying to figure out a way of how to overcome these obstacles. Then we got the golden mirror reversed. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided. Someone's pretending like it's not a one-sided connection, and it actually is. Someone's pretending like they're not a narcissist, and they are. Someone could be even doing mirror magic behind the scenes. Yeah, someone's pretending. So whoever you with is wearing a mask. This could be you, air signs. It could be them. Someone's trying to act like they're not heartbroken, that you, you're trying to, like, reconcile with an ex here. Phoenix Rising is here. Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. Yeah, you're going to change your mind about the situation. I feel like someone was trying to uh, get you or persuade you to not leave them. Persuade you in some way, shape, or form of not going towards an ex of yours. To rectify a situation, to reconcile a situation. Reconcile doesn't always mean getting back with someone. It just means... Making making wrong making what you did wrong right. Twelve twenty-two on the clock. And this person in their minds I think that you literally want to get back with your ex. Some of you probably do want to get back with your ex. This person is arguing a fight with you, feeling conflicted, but they also feel uh defeated in the matter as well. Some sort of decision that you're already making to cut their ass out. We got Gemini here. Sun and Gemini. Moon and Libra. Someone's cutting somebody out. Because someone keep, someone knows this. That's why they're spying. Someone could be spying on someone to uh, look for a reason to cut this person out. They're looking for a reason to cut someone out. Like literally. Because it would be the easier way to do so. Right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There we go. Someone's no longer confused. I feel like whoever you with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they had you in a state of confusion, mental confusion. This person could have been doing mind spells on you to hold you back, to keep you held back. Yeah, they was doing black magic on you. Look at the devil card. Those chains are breaking, and I do see you moving across the water away from this person here. The truth is being revealed. Someone's going to confess. Or there's some sort of confession coming out. This person was using black magic on your mind. Your mental to keep you stuck. Mentally stuck. Not anymore. It broke. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn. Yeah, you got a new beginning. Reset. Start at ground zero. The fool card here. Someone wanted you to act a fool and be foolish and naive. To not know. What they were doing behind the scenes. You now see things for what it is. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're no longer stuck in a state of confusion. Because see, when you're confused, you don't know which way to go. You don't know what decisions to make. You need clarity in order to make a proper decision. Now you have it. Because whatever was done to you is broken. All right? 
I see that you're releasing this toxic, low vibrational fire sign here. Justice reverse. Libra. Ace of Cups reverse. There's a lot of hatred here. So it's very fucking jealous. We got Libra energy. We got Gemini energy. Aries energy. Aries the full springtime. Spring could be significant. This spring or last spring, April. When someone feels defeated, their magic is no longer working. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, because you want to. Someone's arguing with you over you making an offer to somebody online. So it looks like you want to communicate with someone online. This could be an ex of yours that you want to communicate with online. Whoever this ex is it's in the Ten of Pentacles. Family. And this person that you're with is having a time moment. Scorpio energy here. Didn't I tell you you're dealing with a younger fire sign in their 20s that has their moon in Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? This is someone that could have either their moon in Scorpio or they have a rising sign, Scorpio, and their sun sign is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is who you're dealing with. They're arguing with you because this ex of yours is your actual soulmate. And they're in the Ten of Pentacles here. This is the truth. Ace of Swords here. You're gaining clarity, and I do see you defending your ex. Archangel Michael is here watching everything, bringing about balance here. And there will be communication here between the ex and you, you and the ex. This is a baby mama of yours. Empress status. This is who your current partner does not want you to reach out to. They don't want you to reach out to your baby mama or baby mamas. They argue with you because they feel defeated. They feel insecure. Mm -hmm. They in their feelings. With that being said, this is your reading.